Hello everyone and welcome back guys to round 5 of the VGN Renault Clio Cutway. Today we're here for the penultimate round of the season. Very, very excited coming into this one. We could theoretically wrap up the World Championship here today, but you know, we do need to beat uh, Rai by quite a few points coming into this final, uh, the, sorry, the second to last race weekend of the season. Obviously for those of you guys that aren't aware, we come to this one with a 71 point lead. To wrap it up today, we would need to score, or you know, we would need to have an advantage of 100 points ready for the final round of the championship at Brands Hatch next weekend. But anyway, jumping in though to the first race of the night, we did actually get on pole, I think, for the third time this season. So quite happy with that one there. I think we got pole every other round so far this championship. We we got pole at Homestead round one. We got pole at Long Beach round three. And now we got pole here at round five of the championship as well. So a nice way to start this weekend. You know, or this race evening even I should say there. The full ten points from qualifying. And honestly, race one for those of you sort of caught up with this series. As you'll know from Long Beach and Homestead. You know, if, if we get pole, hopefully... The aim is just to try and make a breakaway as soon as possible here. And luckily, that's what we were able to do once again in this series. The opening race of the night. You see, towards the end, we have built up quite a big gap over Rye and a Vision thing there as we head now down in towards the final couple of corners of the opening race of the night. There you see, yeah, we were able to get the race win for the opening round, which means we do actually continue on our streak as well of winning at least one race every single week so far this series as well. They're over the line, and yeah, it's the first race win of the night there. Certainly can't complain about that one. The full 30 points in the bag as well. So very, very happy with that result. Ahead of Rye by a good nine, just over nine seconds at the end of the first race of the night there. So yeah, really, really happy with that one who finishes ahead of Vision Tigabu there. Actually had a really good battle with Rye throughout a lot of that race, but sadly I think made a mistake towards the end there. Ahead of Westmeister, Dads, Bumps and Stamina Rally and LCR Ben would round out the top 10 in the first race of the night there. So yeah, that was the first race done and dusted there, you know, nice and quickly. The full 40 points so far from this evening. But obviously then we move on into race two where we will be starting much, much further down the field. Obviously the reverse top 10 ready for the second race of the night there. Woodley, Ben on pole, you know, my teammate. And we are, we are still just about in the fight as well for the Constructors Championship. You know, we're a little bit off in that, but hopefully we can try and close up the gap tonight as well as we get ready then for the start of the second race of the night. It's five lights and it's the lights out and away we go there. Can we get off to a nice, clean and tidy start? A bit of wheel spin, but ultimately a pretty even start relative to right alongside there. I think we have got off to an ever so slightly better get away there as he moves back towards the inside through in towards to one there. A little bit of contact actually there as he comes across my front end. We get a tag from Hayden as well behind there. I'm not too sure. I think that was just horrible Sonoma Constantine and up through a turn at a one there as well. I think, yeah, just a little bit of caught in there. Wumpson and Westmeister actually come together as well through the next couple of corners. as Freebie now going to try to look round the outside. Maybe we're going three wide down the hill there. A little bit more contact with Freebie as Ben, or Wumpson even, I should say. We just get caught out between the power and there. We get squeezed down at the middle and try to rejoin the circuit around the outside of Freebie as well. There. That all got very, very messy at the start of the second race. That big white donk into the back of Hayden. And my teammate there as we try to get back around the outside of him there. And yeah, that has not been the start to the second race that we needed here. Potentially around the outside of my teammate. No, we think better of it this time around. Bail out there as Hayden now moves himself up into P9 of this race. Yeah, that's really not been the start we needed for the second race of the night there. As we now go down the hill in towards the final sector of the opening lap here through the S's we go. Are we going to be able to get a bit of a better run on the exit? Yes, we have. We're certainly going to try to look up the inside of my teammate here. Jack Hoppen and Hayden go side by side in towards the hairpin there as well. Just coming through the corner. You see Jack's going to run him deep. We're going to try and get a bit of a cheeky switchback move on the pair of them here. Are we going to be able to get the run though? I think we've got an ever so slightly better run than Hayden here and slightly better gearing than Jack as well there. It's out of the final corner and down the start finish rate. You see Jack really, really struggling top end. Hayden tries to, you know, squeeze in between us there as we go right around the outside of Jack. Just a little bit of contact as just differing lines through that first corner there. But luckily we both come out of that one. Fairly unscathed there, and I now move myself up back into P9 of this race. So, yeah, a little bit of contact on the opening lap of this second race there, but we've survived. This is Forza as well, you know, contact is bound to happen. It's just the damage model on this game really does lend itself towards that, and that would take us all the way to lap four before we'd be able to close back up to the rest of the field here. It will be Westmeister next up on the old hit list here as we come now down through the S's. Are we going to potentially have a look up the inside? No, we think better of it there. A very fast corner to try and go for any sort of move there. But Westmeister's just going to run a little bit deep 
to move a corner all out over the grass. Are we going to potentially try and go full send? No, we stick to the outside there. West, though, in towards the corner there. There's going to be a little bit of Constantino up behind Vision Thing as he tries to slam the door on Rye. Right. They're going to go side by side on the exit of the corner there. And this is where this race is going to get a little bit weird. I think, no, not quite just yet in the second race of the night there. We're going to try and look up the, up the inside of Westmeister here as we head down in towards turn one. There a little bit of wheel to wheel contact as we head through the first couple of corners here. But we do make the move right around the outside of, well, sorry, right at the inside even, I should say, of Westmeister there. And now we've got a bit of a run on right through the next couple of corners. Are we going to be able to make anything work there? Right just clips the curb on the inside. We're going to try and go for a bit of a cheeky switchback move on the exit of the corner there. And that's what we're able to do there. He's going to try and squeeze me to the inside there, but he luckily ducks back out towards the racing line, and we do get the move done up the inside there, hanging out to dry a little bit on the exit of the corner there, make sure we give him the room, as that tyre will can prove absolutely deadly here as well just trying to slot in in front there, a little bit of contact made between the pairs, but I now move myself up into P7 of the second race of the night there, so making good progress in the early stages of this race here, is now coming down the hill through the S as we go once more here, you can see LCR Ben just up the road there making a bit of a mistake through the corner as well. He's going to be, I think, almost side by side with Vision there. I think he's just going to slot in behind there or thereabouts through the next corner. We go there and trying to get the run there all over the grass there. But luckily, Ben on the inside doesn't quite get the run as well there. Rally Cap, actually one of the early pitters in this second race of the night there. And luckily for me, Vision and Tigger were just in front of me as well. You know, fairly even on pace. There's certainly not two people that are going to particularly, you know, win nothing that we're going to have a particular advantage over the pair of them. But luckily, they would both dive into the pit lane quite soon as well in this race. You can see in the lap 8 moving out all over the back of Tigger as well as I think that's SVR Dance that just up the road there. I think formerly known as Lucky Sword. I think I might be wrong though. I'm not 100% sure in all honesty. I might be getting names mixed up from GTR there. But yeah, he used to race in GTR. I, I think it is, but I honestly don't know for sure. At the end of the day, there is now coming down in towards the final few corners of lap 8 here. Are we going to dive it into the pits on the end of this lap? No, we think better of it. Tigger actually is the one that comes in on the end of that lap, as well as DOR Stamina, who leads the way in this second race of the night here. So luckily we're now going to slot ourselves up into P2. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be too long, even though I should say, before we would be coming in to dive it in for our one and only pit stop of the night as well. Here is now on to lap 9 we go. You can see SVR Dad still a couple of hundred feet of the road here. But yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be long before we'd be closing up that gap and getting ready for our pit stop. As through the final couple of corners of lap 9 we go here, and my, both myself and Dads are going to dive in on the end of this lap there, and he's going to actually get caught out by a few of the tyres there. I'm not too sure what the graphic's doing. According to this, we've actually jumped him in the pit lane here. Not quite what I saw had happened. I don't think we ever saw him there, but yeah, the, the Sonoma pit lane is certainly a very, very weird one. At the end of the day here. Coming down at the pit lane once again though. Are we going to be able to potentially get a bit of a weird sort of jump on Dad's? I don't think we are there. Hayden now takes the lead of the race. Where is Stamina in this race though? More importantly as well there. See as we head up the pit lane. Dad's does get back past me there. And yeah, clearly some desync going on with the pit lane thing there as well. as coming out of the pit lane once again here in the second race of the night. And I think we've actually got someone have a look around the outside. That is going to be Stamina there. Moves back up into the effectively the net lead of this race. But Tigawu as well has we haven't been able to get the overcut on him there. He's gonna go right around the outside through a turn one there and now move himself up into P well effectively net P3 in this race there. Dance has just held on to effective P2 in this race as well. Here is now coming through the next couple of corners. We go cold tires as well. Very, very difficult with this Renault there. Tigawu is gonna try and get the run down the hill on SVR Daz there. He's going to try and play a little bit defensive there. What is going to happen between these two? A little bit of contact as Daz tries to turn in there. We're going to be able to split the pair of them though through the corner there and a nice cheeky double overtake able to be completed as well. There. Daz tries to have a look around the outside through the next couple of corners there but we slam the door shut on the exit and yeah we now move ourselves up into a net P2 of the second race of the night there. But sadly there was going to be very little we could do against Stamina in this one. As you can see, heading on to the final lap of the night there. Yeah, stamina just too far up the road. We have taken a little bit at him over the next couple of laps. But yeah, it was just going to be too little too late at the end of the day there. So stamina takes home the second race win of the night there. We would come through for another solid podium though. You know, still the most important thing at the moment is just trying to pull out points on a ride there. And that's what we've been able to do there. Second versus third, I think needs another four point gain. So slowly but surely, I think we've, I think we've pulled out 10 or 11 points so far tonight so it was it was looking highly unlikely we would be able to stretch the margin by the end of tonight but, you know if we could go into the final race you know sort of a good 90 point lead 
at the end of the day there i would certainly take that nonetheless and effectively it just meant you know we, we'd need a couple of really sort of you know low top 10 results at the end of the day there but yeah stamina comes through for the win ahead of myself rye stads rally cap west tigger vision ben and hayden at the end of race two but getting ready then for the third and final race of the night obviously we will be starting on the back row with stamina there freebie currently on pole ahead of apex missing pt one uh, donk wumps and sticks hayden and obviously ben there finishes out of the top 10 ready for the third and final race of the night here the lights are coming on now and it's five lights and it's the lights out and away we get going one final time here at sonoma it's not been uh, once again a particularly too bad a start they've certainly got a little bit of a run on a ride there dad's not too sure what's happening to him as we come down towards Tom one there. He's just not going to be able to get the run on Rai or myself there. It's coming down in towards the first corner. Is everyone going to Constantina up? Not as badly as we had done in race two there. A little bit of grass cutting for both myself as Rai there as we try to avoid the cars on the outside there. And Dads does hold on there for two at that position side by side through the next couple of corners. They go there. We're once again going to try and get the switch back here. Are we going to be able to make it work? There, Rai is aware of it, but we do muscle our way two at the inside there is now down in towards the next corner horrible Constantina and up by absolutely everyone there Tigabu runs wide on the exit of the corner there DOR Westmeister is going to try and look up the inside of Vision Thing as well there who's going to come on top in this situation with three wide just behind him as well there I think Rai is forced to bail out in that situation there and yeah uh, myself and Tigabu still side by side as we head now down in towards the S's here and he's just going to turn in that tiny bit of contact between the barriers they're lucky I think for us that we didn't end up in the wall, I think Tigawu does just about there and get a huge sim twitch as well. Uh, don't quite pick the best line back onto the racetrack, absolutely go airborne through the next couple of corners there. And sadly, that is just down to the rear of the field in the second race, uh, sorry, in the third race even, I should say, of the night there. So really not the best start to this third and final race of the evening there. And now we've certainly got a whole lot of ground to make back up if we want to try and further extend our advantage over Rai in this final race of the night here. Lap 3 though, you can see we're already closed back up to Tigabu there as well as a lot of the other drivers. A little bit of contact actually between myself and Tigabu. It's still really, really difficult to try and pinpoint where the front end is of this car there as you can see coming through the first couple of the corners once again here. Are we going to be able to potentially get a run down the hill on Tigabu here? We're certainly going to try and look up the inside there a little bit later on the brakes. A bit of contact as he tries to squeeze him out over the curbs. Nothing we can really do there. Get flung back out towards the outside of the circuit once more there and we are still up the inside though and we now make the move work i'm trying to watch out for the switchback move there and that's what we're able to do and we now move ourselves back up into p16 of this race so, so effectively what's happened there is tigawu and myself have just lost three laps of you know trying to carve our way through the rest of the field there you see we are pretty much back on the rear of the train here freebie leads the way at the end of lap three there is coming down in towards the next couple of corners are we going to potentially close up on that they get a really nice run through that corner here and dads as well we're certainly going to try and think about going for a bit of a lunge here what's going to happen dads just that little bit later on the brakes there and being so much further ahead of me not able to get the run on the exit of the corner though he's certainly going to try and get it there as well struggling a little bit actually with the straight line speed we just give him the squeeze through the final corner there but we do now move ourselves back up into p15 of this race there so this one it's looking in the early stages like it's going to be a bit of damage limitation at the end of the day there is coming through turn one and turn two once again here are we gonna be able to get any sort of run through the next couple of corners here i don't think you know it's, it's not been too bad there there's a lot of concentrina up just up the road there you can see dust everywhere sticks into the wall someone else off the road as well there we get the run around the outside of ben not really too sure what's going on in all of this commotion there is now all over the back of my main rival rai once again in this race there is he's gonna try to look up the inside of stamina there thinks better of it as they get right towards the apex there stamina just hold around the outside of a ride there is now we're under p13 once more of this race and we now really really need to try and carve our way through the field there right taking a really weird run but making it work through the s's there i was really quite surprised that you didn't get sort of spat out the other way there that's what i found trying to attack that curb there is down in towards the final part of the s's everyone just trying to light up the front wheels get the car turned in and we actually run a little bit onto the grass there we just might keep it pointing in the right direction avoid the wall as well there is rhino tries to have a look up the inside of stamina through the hairpin here to finish off lap four of this race there. and stamina i don't think it's going to bear that out there this is where this race gets a little bit weird though i think vision thing and westmeister make contact there as well Rye and stamina are going to get caught out and there's just nowhere for me to go Rye gets a huge sim twitch there and unfortunately into the side 
of Westmeister as well there. And yeah, really not too sure. You know, not much we could have done about that. Everyone just Constantina up in front of us there. Rai gets spat out in front of me. We did get on the brakes there. And yeah, there's nothing any of us could do in that situation there. And unfortunately for Rai, that is going to put him right down towards the rear of this field once again there. But Stamina still just in front of me here as we head now down in towards the next couple of corners. He's going to try and look up the inside of Vision Thing now. We try to get the run on the exit of the corner here, potentially around the outside of Stamina here, maybe as we head in towards the head, and it's certainly not an easy move to make work there. Stamina actually tries to go for a bit of a bump and run on a vision thing there. We try to get the run on the exit of the corner there. Luckily, he does give me the room around the outside there. He's coming through the S's now. Who's going to come out on top? Stamina bails out this time around there. We now move ourselves up into the top 10 of this race here. So still making good progress at the moment there, as I think Stamina runs that a bit wide out onto the grass through the next couple of corners there and yeah that moves us back up now into p10 of this race we are making good progress at the moment here and now we need to try and close the gap to a vision thing as well as now onto lap six we go you can see trying to close the gap to vision now as we got dads as well just behind us here and this is where things are going to get a little bit weird there dads is going to run into the back of me there that is going to cause us to give a bit of a punt to a vision there we tried to get the road around the outside there and nothing really we could have done there vision though is just going to go full send through the next corner. They're going to try and muscle me out wide on the exit of the corner there. We're not going to bail out of that one there. That really wasn't my fault in the first place there. And well, Vision tries to play very, very aggressive there. And I think according to Ben in the end, he actually ended up in a tie wall because of that one. And yeah, I'm not too sure what we could have done in that situation. I think it's, you know, just, just if, if, if anything like that happens to me personally, I'm just trying to, you know, sort out after the race. You don't really try and then go for an almighty lunge and muscle someone almost into a tie wall there. But... We didn't back out and we actually did come out still holding on to P10 in this race. So I think Dance was the big winner in that situation there. And I did message Vision out of the race saying, you know, it wasn't me that punted you in that situation there. It was a punt from behind that went into you there. And I haven't heard anything back from him just yet here. As we now head on towards the end of lap 7 here. Donk not going to quite get able to get the run around the outside in towards the final couple of corners there. He's going to be much later though in towards the hairpin is everyone now trying to Constantina up there as we have a look potentially three wide on the ex other corner there we just get a bit of a run a bit of run Van Donk there Missing's going to bail out of this race as well there are a bit of contact as we just about slot in between Dads and Donk there yeah now under P7 of this race I'm really not too sure why Missing decided to bail out there is now on to lap 8 we're all over the back of Rani Cap and Apex are we going to potentially able to get a run through to one that we take all of the curb through the corner we actually keep it clean between the white lines just about there is now side by side with a Rani Cap around the outside maybe as we head now down in towards the next corner Rally's just going to run that bit deep out onto the grass there we're going to give him the room to rejoin there but we do make the move work and we are up into P6 of this race there but Dads almost goes up the inside we just about swing it around the outside they keep over the front of the car there and we now move ourselves up into p6 is now all over the back of apex as well here and you know we always see this in these races the third and final race of the night is usually chaos is probably the best way to describe it here at the end of the day but you know we're still closing up towards the back of apex there are huge fishtails we head through the next couple of corners there we give him a bit of a punt on the exit of the corner just try and give him the run down at this next straightaway there as he actually bails out there dads might try and follow me through as well there but apex slams the door shut and yeah, we now move ourselves up into P5 of this race here. So still making good progress now. We're just six laps to go. Just four more places to potentially try and get ourselves a third or second race win, even I should say, of the evening. You know, and a, a you know, win in the third race of the night. Lap 11, though, we move on to now. You can see we have closed up the gap to Hayden here. And actually, there were four LCR cars in the top five in this final race of the night. It was still ATP freebie who led the way with just four laps to go now of this race. Ahead of Wompson, Ethan... Hayden and myself here. Hayden, though, always plays it defensively. You know, doesn't back down from a move. He's always willing to try and fight it, put the car on the line there. Just see on the exit of the corner there. We're going to try and bait to the inside there. Force Hayden defensive through the next couple of corners there. Break just that bit earlier. Hayden's going to clip the curb. Are we going to try and get a bit of a switch back move? I'm certainly going to think about going full send up the inside here. We're certainly going to go for it this time around. Take a little bit of curb through the corner there. We just about give him the room around the outside, but he takes the curb. We do get the move done up the inside there a proper British touring car style move full send everything like that but, you know perfectly clean I'd say oh well, perfectly fair even sorry I should say at the end of the day there you know rubbing his racing especially in something like a Clio Cup car as well as now coming through the final couple of corners of lap 11 are we going to be able to close the gap to PT as well here Bram and a Freebie are going to go side by side in towards the final hairpin of the lap here who's going to come out on top just up the road there is look how much time we are able to gain through the corner there. Ethan, though, is going to try and get the run on freebie on the exit. I don't think he's going to be able to make that move work 
this time around there. And now we've got to try and try and uh, take advantage in this situation, potentially try and jump one, maybe even two of these cars as well here. It's coming down towards Tub on there, maybe around the outside of Ethan. We're certainly going to try and have a bit of a look at it there, maybe. I don't think, no, this time around we cannot make the move work there. PT just about slams the door shut there. And yeah, we do hold on to P4 of this race there. But he's actually going to be able to get the run on freebie there, side by side, as we head through turn three and turn four there. And once again, we're just going to try and get the cheeky switchback move here. Freebie, though, isn't going to play as defensive as he probably should have there. He's too busy worried about Ethan there. A bit of contact between the pair of them there. We get ourselves onto the inside and we now move ourselves up into P2 of this racer is now four wide they go just behind me there certainly don't want to get involved in that situation as yeah Hayden Ethan we did momentarily have a one two three four in this race for team LCR there is now final lap of the race we go we are close at the gap to Bram here and are we going to be able to potentially have a look of the inside in towards the hairpin I think about it there Bram actually takes the bait and then moves back to the racing line there fantastic job by him as now in towards the final lap on the S as we go here. I believe all over the back of Bram here. I don't really sort of want to get one of those laggy Forza contacts there. And unfortunately, we just get caught out over the curb there. Running a little bit wide there. And that is going to be the win for Bram. Done and dusted there. I congratulated him right then and there. Because there was no way I was going to be able to get back to him there. Through the final couple of corners of this race there. And funnily enough, as you guys will see by the points in just a moment. If we'd won this race, we would have wrapped up the title tonight. But... Sadly, Bram, he does hold on to the race fixture there. Look how much time we gain in towards the hairpin there, but he gets a much better run on the exit. And through the final corner we go, it's going to be Bram taking home his very first VGN race victory there. Massive congrats to him there at the end of the day. Fantastic job by him to come through for that win there. And held on right towards the very end of that race there. But having a look at the points, you can see, like I said, 96 points now we head into the final race of the season ahead of Rice EX there at the end of the day, which means, yeah, we just need four points from the final race weekend of the world of, of the championship, even I should say, at the end of the day there. Whether we were able to get that only time it will tell, but you know, I think that's like two P15s or something like that. So hopefully we, you know, just keep it clean, keep it tidy. And obviously that does also require Rye to win every single race next week as well there. But yeah, that'll be it then for this round of the VGN Renault Clio Cup. The final round of the season will be next Monday. Hopefully highlights will be coming out, you know, sort of a couple of days after that as well. But yeah, 96 point lead. Hopefully we can do what we need to in the final week. Keep the winning streak up as well at the end of the day there. It's Westmeister third, Stamina, Vision, Tigger, Flex, Bram with that win moves up into PA of the championship ahead of a random demon, Hordes and Cozzy. Hayden, Freebie, Lucky Sod, Rally and Martin in the top 16 but that is it then for the third and final race of the night thank you all so much for watching this video get yourself subscribed if you're new around here as well and hopefully i will see you guys next time for the final round of the championship at brands hatch